Hey guys, I'm Greg Denning and it's mango season here in Costa Rica. Mangoes are family favorite. So today I'm going to show you how to eat a mango. But first, we get to go gather the mangoes. Here's our mango grove. That's a mango tree if you haven't seen one. There's probably 10 or 15 trees here on the property. And in just a minute you'll see our mango pickers. And because we have a big family, this is how we gather mangoes. Okay, so it's Sunday. It's the day of rest. So all our mango pickers are resting. They're the howler monkey. And there's probably, I don't know, 30 or 40 of them up here. And they have cute little babies. Hopefully we can see the babies. And the babies are the only ones moving around and playing. They're like this big right now. Just cute little guys. And all the adults are are napping above us, but they, they'll take a bite of a mango and throw it down, or they'll just take mangoes and throw them. So they do all our mango picking for us. So we'll just gather up the good mangoes off the ground and we'll get some uh, video of our pickers. So sometimes I think they pick green ones and maybe they're like, oh, it's hard, I can't eat this, work my thing and throw it down. Then sometimes they take one bite of a perfectly good mango and then they just toss it. So good for us. And the other thing, if they're up and at them, they might try to pee on you or throw things at you. Watch out. Has happened. Has happened. They threw one at my son Kimball. He was holding a bag and it hit the bag and knocked it out of his hand. I have no problem sharing a bite of my mango with the monkey. Got his bite out and then I'm good to go. First you gotta pick a ripe mango. So it should be just a little soft. If it's too soft, it's gone too much. I'll tell you what to do with that later. But just this one's just about right. See that coloration? Yellow, orange, red, and just, just a little softness. So here's what you want to do. It's got a big pit in it, and I'll show you a pit. But you want to cut along the edge of the pit. So here's how you find it. Here's the, here's the top, and you, you're going to go right along the side of that. But if you can see how it kind of angles this way, then you're going to want to cut right along that, because that's how the, the seed runs like this. If I try to cut into it this way, it's not going to work. So I'll show you right now. Take it. I run my knife right on the edge of this, and then I just kind of feel for the pit and cut around the pit. Whoa, look at that beauty. So then there's two different ways. I'll show you both. One, you do slices and then you peel those off, but I'll, since this one's good, I'll show you how to grid it. You cut the grids. This is a beauty. Makes you just want to eat mango all the time. Yep, that's what I do. So you cut it like this. Oh, and then little hands come up and say, oh, I want it. And then you kind of just bend it out, and oh, you have mango squares to eat. Now you just take them in there, you cut them out, and then or you're you not. Or you just eat them. Or you just eat them. You just, uh, and you don't and, get it in your. And Atlas wants it. Atlas wants it. He's going to eat okay. it. He'll take that and just pound it. So. <laughs> the second way, you just take and you cut it like this and like this oh there's a bad spot and so then you can either take that and just eat it or just go ahead and cut the peel off and magic and oh, it just disappears God, that like fast that. Woo! now we like to freeze mangoes because the kids will just eat a chunk of frozen mango you just take that slice it off slice Funny. off Slice off the peel, stick that in the freezer, and it's a delicious treat. Or you take it, and you can come up here, or you take it 
just frozen chunks, you stick them in your blender, and just that, just blend them up, and it just makes mango ice cream. It's fantastic, really delicious. So, that's how you eat a mango. Oh wait, and you cannot leave any meat on the pit. So here's what you do. See, I'm down to the it's pit. It's sacrilegious here. On both sides, oh yeah, that's, that's a no-no. So I just cut the end. You just cut off the peel, and then you can either hand that to a child and they'll devour every last bit of mango on it. It'll just come back as a dry pit. Or you can take it and just cut along the edge of the pit, like so. You get good chunks of mango, but then you get devoured. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Yeah. I'll eat all the meat off. So good. Enjoy. Keep the fire.